So look, back in the day, man, all of a sudden, uh, drugs hit the streets. Now, for y'all that don't know, man, uh, the coca plants and all that stuff, man, they, they get cocaine from and all it, man, look, they don't grow it here in the hood. <laughs> Ain't nobody in the hood got a farm growing now. They might be growing marijuana these days, but that's different. But back in the day, they weren't growing this stuff. It was being shipped in. Now, it was being shipped in, and in some cases, it was being dropped off in the streets. It was being dropped off in the streets so folks could come become addicted to it. So you'll see like this, man, it'd be a big box to show up in the middle of the alley somewhere. And then Muzz get to looking around, investigating, and there was a lot of people who was getting strung out on drugs in the military. So they come back, and they'd know about it. So, man, before you know it, People getting strung out, they won't mow, they won't mow. Now they won't mow, and they go through anything to get it. But we ain't got no boats. We ain't had no boats. We might have them now, but we ain't had no boats and planes back then. So how was this stuff getting to the hood? Who was bringing it in? It wasn't us. Now we might have been doing the selling on the block, but we weren't the ones bringing it in. It was being brought in by some very powerful people to make some good money off of. Now, they was dropping it off in the hood. People was getting addicted to it. People were selling, because you even had like the Black Panthers, right? And the other street gangs and stuff from back in the day. Yeah, they might have roughed somebody up a little bit, but they was really there to help the community, protect the community from the police and from the mafia and all this kind of stuff, right? But then, these drugs got introduced. Now, even the mafia was like, bro, look, man, with the mafia, they, man, if they found out you was messing with the drugs, them OGs in the mafia would blow your dang head off. But the young guys, in the, you know, the young guys, and the same thing with the gangs, man, the street gang, they was like, man, hey, look, it's easy for the big, for the big dog to say that, because he make, we all bringing him a portion of the money we make every week. But while we bringing him a portion, we starving. But we got to pay our dues to him. So they going to do what they got to do to make as much money as they can make. So this, when the drugs came, everything got out of hand. And that's when everything got, you know, gang life always was cutthroat. But that's when, when all the rules went out the window, man. Now it was about, I'm going to get as much as I can get. And I'll sell to my own mama if I got to. I'll sell to my own grandma. Mugs, man, <laughs> like, drugs changed the whole game, man. Because it's easy, you know, when you was just after money, you might do a little crooked thing here or there. Man, but when you got that drugs messing your mind up too, on top of already being money hungry, man, you'll do anything, man. People sell their own children.